This is the example problem on slide 56 of our chapter 13 PowerPoint. And the question states, for the reaction of carbon dioxide and hydrogen, the equilibrium concentrations are 0.25 molar CO2, 0.8 molar H2, and 0.5 molar H2O. What is the equilibrium concentration of CO? So in this problem, um, that I just read, basically we have three of our equilibrium concentrations, but we do not know the fourth one, equilibrium concentration of CO. But we are given our balanced equation and we're given our equilibrium constant. So what we can do here is write an equilibrium expression rearrange it so that we're solving for the concentration of CO and we have all of the other numbers plugged in. <coughs> so the first step in solving this problem is to write our actual equilibrium expression so we can plug numbers into it. So Kc is going to be equal to, and let's go ahead and look at the reaction Okay, everything is in the gas phase, so that means everything is going to be included in our reaction. So on top of our products, it's going to be concentration of CO times concentration of H2O. Neither are raised to a power because they both just have a coefficient of 1. And then over, we have... CO2 and H2. And those are also not raised to any power because they don't have a coefficient out in front. So now, before I plug stuff into this, what I'm going to do is rearrange this equation so that I am only solving for CO. My goal is to try and get CO by itself. So first, I'm going to multiply both sides by CO2 and H2. That's going to cancel out on this side. CO2, H2. So that gives me Kc times CO2 times H2 is equal to CO times H2O. And now I'm going to divide both sides by H2O because I want to get rid of it on that side so that I'm just left with my CO. So you end up with concentration of CO is equal to Kc times CO2 times H2 over H2O. And now that I have that rearranged, I can plug all of my values into that. So it's going to be 0 0.11, we were given that value to start up here, times concentration of CO2, which is going to be oops, our 0.25. times concentration of H2, which is going to be our 0.8 over concentration of H2O, which is 0.5. And if you multiply all those, get them equal, divide, multiply, all that, you should get that the concentration of CO is 0 0.044 and that's in units of molarity and that is your final answer.